Space, the final frontier that separates the men from the boys. Good thing we brought snacks. Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Colors. In the last episode, we took on the big boy in Tropical Resort over here, which finished up the zone. And this time around, we're going to be starting with the second zone of this game, in this giant meteor-looking Cinnabon type thing. So let's get into it. And whoa! Cupcakes and graham crackers and lollipops galore! It's every kid's dream! Oh my god, this world looks so sweet. Yep, I had to go for the obvious pun. Can you blame me? It was just too easy, but whoa... I never actually noticed there are giant cheeseburger stacks here over on the side. Ugh, cheeseburger and sweets, not the best combination. In fact, I'm going to get out of here before I give myself a little hedgehog tummy ache. <laughs> but yes, this is Act 1 of Sweet Mountain, and that level title does not lie in the slightest because... The entire world here is themed around food, or sweets, if you want to be particular and technical about it. Unfortunately, however, our good friend Sonic doesn't have time to stop and sniff or lick the candy roses because he's known for running fast. And you can't run fast if you're all bloated on sweets and cake and stuff. Although, maybe the sugar would give him a little bit of a rush. We don't need another sequel to Sonic Rush right now. So, either way, we're just gonna go ahead and move on with this goofy world. And here we're introduced to the drifting mechanic, which actually can add quite a few points to your score. So, if you want to get a good score, and I don't see why you wouldn't, go ahead and drift as much as is humanly possible. Or hedgehoggly possible? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know words. I don't understand words. Apparently, there's a bit of a dissonance between some Sonic fans, by the way, over this level. Some don't like the music, and some don't like the, like, level design. I think it's quirky. I think it's cute, and I really do like it. Either way, that all aside, we've got ourselves a brand new wisp power up here with which we can dig through layers and layers of endless, endless cake and collect ourselves some rings here. Can we get another one? Yes, we can. But yeah, here we have the yellow drill wisp, which allows you to drill underground, and if you see in the corner there, we're getting gigantic color bonuses for doing all this right now. Don't get suckered into staying underground too long, however. If you stay under here for too much time, you will eventually actually die. You will be fossilized under 12 layers of cake, and you're probably going to become a meal for a big boy at some point. So, you're going to want to go ahead and get yourself above ground as quickly as you can. Well, maybe not as quickly as you can, but before you end up destroying yourself and your life. Either way, we didn't get fossilized. We are not frosting. We are not somebody's tasty treat. We are instead avoiding these gigantic missiles here, apparently. Right there. I didn't run into them, but those, whoa, those were Eggman Springs, and if you jump on those, they'll send you flying in the wrong direction. Some of you may remember from Sonic Generations, they were in that game as well. Uh, but, ooh, let's go ahead and jump over the gigantic Jelly Bean Missile. It's kind of interesting having them there, having, like, evil versions of stuff that you normally want to touch that normally helps you, but... Just make sure you stay out of the way and you will be perfectly fine. And get out of here, giant missile. Yeah, you can actually get smacked by those and you'll survive it. But either way, that's all irrelevant because we just freed our friends the Wisps and completed Act 1 of this wondrous new zone. And we got ourselves a nice A-Rang. Huh. That was actually a pretty good run at that level. Getting a color bonuses in that level is really easy, but you have to do it for a good rank. So we didn't quite get the S, but we did all right. Can we get center frame? Oh my gosh! Almost! If we were, like, two pixels to the right, we would have been center frame and gotten the one-ups. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Close enough for me. And with that, we have unlocked the Yellow Wisp for use in other levels. And it looks like the next level here... Oh, maybe not quite the next level, but... We have Act 2 unlocked, and it looks like we're going to be unlocking a new Wisp even later in the video. So, let's go ahead and get started with Act 2 of Sweet, Sweet Mountain, which reminds me kind of of some of the areas in, like, Mario Galaxy and Mario 3D World. I'm not saying those are, like, parallels or anything that drew inspiration on one another. It's just that sweet areas in video games are always really charming and always really fun. And if they work there, then why can't they work here? So, let's go ahead... Oh, I was gonna boost a little bit, but unfortunately we're suckered into drifting, and oh no! I destroyed a gingerbread man! He probably had a gingerbread wife and some gingerbread kids back home that are gonna miss him forever. What am I doing? I'm such a monster, I can't even handle it. I kinda like, actually. <laughs> now that I'm off my little gingerbread man tangent, I kinda like the fact that there's like... Uh, snow, but it's made of frosting or icing or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to cook. I can't do anything more than microwave myself some top ramen. Stop yelling at me. 
<sighs> Either way, I like the environment here. I think it's pretty cool. Yo. And let's go ahead and smack these egg pawns around. And you notice, um, in the earlier levels, some of the egg pawns have, like, welcome signs that you could kill them and get yourself some extra boost. You can still get boost from some of the egg pawns here, but in this world, they're carrying egg beaters. Egg beaters. <laughs> get it? Because it's Eggman's theme park. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Egg beaters? Does that mean they're going to, like, beat Eggman with them? Is this, like, the the... The rebellion against Eggman here in this world, they're rebelling, they're planning a coup against Eggman and his empire, they're planning to beat him down and take it over, oh my gosh, no, I will not stand for this, you shall not go against the will of your creator, Eggpawn, so all of you must die. I don't know what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and grab this red ring and just continue on with the level before I say some more whack stuff, go ahead and get rid of that chef, man. Now, you have to wonder, who cooked all these delicious, tasty treats to populate this world? Was it Eggman? Is he like a chef on the side? It's kind of funny. In the uh, instruction manual for, what is it, Sonic Heroes, I believe? It says that Eggman is a feminist. So he's definitely got some personality, and maybe he's an awesome chef as well, and nobody knows about it, and he cooked everything for this world. Who knows? Either way, let's go ahead, grab ourselves our 1-up. Can we stand on top of the beat? Yeah, we can! Awesome pose there, Sonic! And we're done with this act as well. Which allows a- oh, look at those Oreos sticking out of that cake. I'm so hungry right now, thanks to this level! Oh my god, I can't handle it! <sighs> Act 3, Sweet Mountain, we're gonna unlock ourselves a new wisp, but now, because of this level, there's food everywhere and it looks all delicious and I want some of it, but when I was younger, it was kinda weird. I never had really that big of an affinity for sweets. I was always the kid who'd be like, nah, I'll have the apple instead of the cake, and I was weird as a child for that, apparently, because evidently, kids are supposed to be super into sweets, and that, like, consumes their life as they consume the sweets. I don't know what I'm saying. But I don't know, I was always into fruit as a kid, but now that I'm older, it's like 50-50. You gotta love both for what they are, you know? You know? <laughs> Here I am, sitting talking about food in the Sonic video. What am I going on about? I don't even know. Either way, we've got ourselves the Orange Wisp here, which turns us into a rocket and allows us to blast off. Whoa, at an incredible speed. I guess this is Super Sonic Galaxy after all. And we can go ahead and dive with the B button, and you can actually get quite a bit of distance like this, or you can descend very, very quickly and not have to worry about the really long fall. And you're probably going to want to descend fairly quickly if you want to get a decent score, because, of course, wasting time here is not going to be super beneficial for that rank at the end of the level. And I already know that you guys want a bunch of nice gold A's and nice silver platinums to hang up on your fridge and be proud of. Because who doesn't at the end of the day? Either way, we've got ourselves a full boost gauge, so let's go ahead and take advantage of it. Why not? Because Ooh, is this actually... I don't know if I've ever gone this way before. It looks like this is a way that they want us to go. Hooray! We made it to a slightly secret area. But with boost in Sonic Colors, I always find myself being way too conservative instead of liberal. You'd think the problem would be the opposite. But no, for me personally, oh, just barely made it out of there. For me personally, I have a problem with using all my boost when I should, because I feel like I should be saving it for something later on. Never turns out that way, though, but, uh, do we slide under this or what? Eh. Oh, you can crouch. No, seriously? Seriously, I slid off the edge. What was that? Oh my god, there goes any hope at a decent rank in this level at all. Uh -huh. Well, I showed off the secret area at least, so at least we've got that going for us in this episode. Man, one thing about Sonic Colors that I do like, though, is after you die, it doesn't completely reset your score. It doesn't have the cruel mindset that Heroes did, so you have another chance to get at least, like, maybe we can pull off a C. I thought I was going to die there for a second. Maybe we can pull off a C even with that death, though. I kind of doubt it, but maybe it won't be so bad. I don't know, man. <laughs> Either way, let's go ahead and blast through some egg ponds and climb on up this level. And you're noticing probably already that there's quite a bit of precision platforming as compared to, like, Sonic Unleashed or something like that, and I like it! The fact that Sonic controls so well in this game and that you have a double jump, it all lends itself really well to precision platforming, and even with the death, whoa, we pulled off the B rank. I am digging it, man. Can we get that one up? Yes, we can. Oh, there we go. Yes, we can. And now we can continue on once again with our lives. And that unlocks the Orange Wisp in the rest of the uh, levels for us. So there we go. Now I suppose we have time for one last level in this video. Let's go ahead and take on Act 4. Wait, is Act 4 the one I'm thinking of? Oh god. Please, no. 
<laughs> Let's go, gingerbread man. Lend me that vote of confidence that I need to perform. And oh god, it is this level. First of all, look at those jelly beans in the background. I've been getting sold lies my entire life. Those things are made of paper. What is this? Is this like the cheap knockoff brand of jelly bean? Is that's what is that what's going on here, Eggman? Come on, I knew you were evil, but you couldn't possibly be that evil to sell me flat jelly beans, man. Uh oh. Can we do this? Uh, oh, yes, we did. We were at kind of a weird angle there, but we pulled it off in the end. Either way, yeah, we've got flat jelly beans going on first and foremost. And then the gimmick of this level is that you stand on switches a lot. Yeah, I'm not big on this level, really. As much as I say that I like the level design in this game, this is kind of an exception because standing around and waiting, not really my thing. It feels a little bit labyrinth zone-y. Or, fortunately, rather, we don't have too much water to contend with, even though I'm really, really thirsty from all these sweets, man. <laughs> What am I even saying right now? But yeah, there's a lot of standing around, and you're going to want to not touch those bright orange parts of these uh, lever-looking things here, because those are fiery, they are hot, they will burn your hands, and you didn't even bring an oven mitt to the baking world. What is wrong with you? How could you come so unprepared? <laughs> Either way, yeah, make sure not to touch those, make sure to wait around on the switches long enough, and if you're a little bit impatient, probably shouldn't be, because you will fall down and you'll have to start the entire br button pressing charade shenanigans whatever all over again it's really annoying fortunately this is the last bit of the level but it's a little bit of a long one even still yeah we're sitting here and you can actually if you listen closely hear the shimmer of that goal ring man can we get some elevator music playing up in this that would totally fit this section better than this super upbeat like happy music right now because this is a little bit less exciting than i had bargained for <laughs> Either way, maybe I should stop complaining because we're right at the end of the level and we have finished the thing up. There's the goal ring and we're done with the dreaded Act 4 of the sweet world of Sonic Colors. And there we go, what can we get? Just a B rank. Oh man, we were like 10,000 points away and in most Sonic games, again, that would be a ton of points to be away from the next rank. But in this game, 10,000 points is like absolutely nothing. So, either way, B rank, whatever, that's fine. I'm gonna be okay. I'm totally satisfied with that. And that's going to do it with this episode of Sonic Colors. So I hope you were totally satisfied with this episode as well. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time, where we continue on with and hopefully finish up Sweet Mountain.